very thing that makes America great is the very thing that we are most afraid of. I got your back But who's got mine I felt like a ray Out on the line We would twist that We were blind I want my eyes I want to unwind And if you gotta hate somebody If you gotta hate someone Don't hate me Don't hate me From the beginning, America has been a hodgepodge of sundry and diverging groups. It's what makes us great. Two, three hundred years ago, and even last week, it was the best and the brightest that came in. It was the adventurers, the free thinkers, the risk takers that came here, the ne'er do well, the debtors, looking to start over, the extremists, the fanatics the radicals, the persecuted, and the prospectors that long for the salvation of a new beginning. It was the draft dodgers, the exiled intellectuals, the starving, the industrious, the refugees. They came from all over the world and spoke many different languages. At one point, we nearly adopted German as our national. There were two and a half million non-native speaking people living in what is now known as the United States. No nationality held a clear majority, and over 20% were of African descent, which is more than from any single country in Europe. At one point, it could be argued that the 18th century version of Swahili was the most spoken tongue in the Western Hemisphere. Now granted, they did not come here willingly. It is one of our greatest shames that it has taken us so long to realize the gifts they had to offer. For even though Africans were subjugated for most of their history in the Western Hemisphere, the gifts and contributions that they gave to what makes America great is immeasurable. And the same could be said of the contributions of those we have most mistreated, the Native Americans, the Chinese, and the Mexicans. Most of our greatest achievements have been in the behest of the newcomer, the outcast, the refugee. It was the newcomer immigrant, the refugee, that put his body on the line against an armed private militia in the struggle to give us the eight-hour day. It was the newcomer, the immigrant, 
the refugee. It swelled the ranks of the Union Army as we put an end to slavery at the barrel of a gun. It was the newcomer, the immigrant, the refugee, educated in our universities, as they sat in Houston, Texas, and Cape Canaveral, as we put a human being on the moon. It takes a great deal of courage and gumption to come to a new land to begin again. But once you get there, the one thing you still got is courage, gumption. Even today is what makes us great. Even if today is what we fear the most. Many fear the newcomer, but I say, what does the newcomer have to offer? We are all, after all, newcomers. This country is still so young, so big. Europeans poke fun at us because we think that 200 years is a long time, yet somehow they think that 200 miles is a long way. Our American trailblazers have conquered great distances but who's got with a mule mind? and an axle, and we are largely I was impoverished, rural, uneducated. Loose collection of villages. We were, were able to defeat the mightiest army on earth. We were with nothing but a wagon load of hunting rifles, to declare ourselves I free. Only a great and inspired people can do that. I need a call. And yes, what we have done with that history and if you got has not always been pretty. No people's history is pretty. Perhaps if our history were pretty, it would surely be that. History, after all, pretty people don't laugh. And in America, it is often the ugliest of the ugly that prevail. But prevail we do. But today, I choose to celebrate what is great about our country. Our diversity.